It's not a party in Rawson Square, nor is it a Gumbe festival on Arawaki. It's the Bahamas National Children's Choir taking Washington, D.C. by storm. It was day three of a recent eight-day Washington tour for the spirited group that gave visitors passing by the White House a glimpse of the 242. Happy anniversary, Bahamas! Happy independence, Bahamas! With this being the choir's first international tour since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, the group of 25 singers embraced the opportunity to perform for a variety of audiences, one of the first was a performance and courtesy visit on Bahamian ambassador to Washington, Wendell K. Jones. By the choir's performance, Ambassador Jones offered the talented youngsters some advice. When you go about singing throughout the world, because a whole lot of you are going to move to the National Youth Choir and probably other choirs, just remember that the most important thing that you want to have is a faith to keep a sound to sing. And so in your heart, there ought to be a melody all the time. While with that advice, the choir wowed audiences later at the Pillsbury Law Firm and the Smithsonian African American Museum.
course, the brilliant performances of the choir members transcended to ministry as they sang at Restoration Praise Center Seventh-day Adventist Church and subsequently at St. Luke's Episcopal Church. about American history or enjoying a time of recreation, each choir member will tell you that their time was well spent. Until next year, I'm Adama Williams.